اينشتاين بيقول التعليم مفهوش ملل حط نفسك مكاني هتفقد الامل ملينا المدرسه ونظام صب وكب شرح طول الوقت عمل لنا تروب يا استاذ انا عقلي مش سبونج بوب يشرب المعلومه وبعديها يكب هنا في نو سكول طلعنا من التروب لعب مرح تفاعلات هتعجبك يا بوب نو سكول اكاديمي سيمبلي ليرن ديفرنت Hello everybody, this is Ms. Amal Gaven talking to you again, presenting a new lesson for today. What is the lesson talking about? Materials. We learned about materials, Ms. Amal. Yes, we did, but this time, different materials. Something mixed together, and we are going to learn about pull and push, and something that we call ramp. So, first, I need you to watch this. QR code and I'm gonna watch it, so have fun. Okay, we have this window, for example. It's mainly made out of glass, but is it made out of glass only? No, it is made out of glass and metal. So I have two materials now to talk about. It's one window, it's made out of two things or two materials, glass and metal. What about this bike? Okay. I can see it is made out of metal and plastic. So metal and plastic, this bike is made up of, out of these two materials. So I have two things to talk about, plastic and metal. What about the car? The car that we drive, it's made actually out of a lot of things. But the things that I know about, I'm going to tell you. It is made out of metal and glass. Metal, the body of the car is made out of metal and the glass for the windows. You know, the windows of the car, they are glass. So I have metal and glass. These colors are made out of wood only. Only wood? Yes, only wood. Okay, I have this headset and it's made out of two things actually. Metal, this part is metal and this part is plastic. So I have metal and Plastic, two things. And this magnifying glass, it's made out of two things. It's made out of glass and plastic. The frame and the handle is plastic and this thing in the middle is the glass, see? Okay, what about this shopping cart? Okay, I can see clearly it is made out of metal and plastic. So, this shoe is made out of what? I need to think and look carefully. The first thing that comes in my mind is fabric. Is fabric. Okay, I have fabric and something else. You know the small rings that the shoelace comes in and out of it? These are made of metal. These are made of metal. Made of metal. So I have two things. I have fabric and metal fabric and metal in the shoe. Okay, now I have another QR code that I need to scan. You are going to watch and learn, okay? I have now put a schedule for me and I'm going to check every item by itself. The first thing I have a zipper. You know, it's a zipper. We use it on clothes, on bags. So, a zipper, what does it do? How can I use it? Can I push a zipper? Or do I pull a zipper? Or does it do both? Mm, let's think. Zipper. I can only pull a zipper up or pull it down. I cannot push the zipper, so I can do both. So the zipper is pulling up or down. So I'm going to mark using X the box for pull for the zipper. Okay, we have a swing. Okay. To swing someone, we need to push it. Push the swing so the, the person in the swing is having fun. So I'm trying to push the swing. So I'm marking by X the my table that I have in front of you and marking the swing as push. What about this light bulb? Okay, I need to switch it on or off. I have this thread dangling from it. If I pull, can I push? Mm, no, I don't think so. I just need to pull it once to switch it on and pull it again to switch it off. So I'm going to mark X at the 
pull box. What about this car? Toy car. It's a toy car. Someone is playing with it. I can push it and I can pull it back. What? what? I can do both? Yes, you can push the car and you can pull it back. Push and pull both? Yes. So I'm going to mark the two boxes and the both, of course. Okay, now I have some buttons like a keyboard, anything that you need to switch on or off. I'm going to pull the button. It doesn't sound right. No, I'm going to push the button. So push is for buttons. I'm going to push the button. So I'm marking the box for push only. Another QR code, but this time nothing different actually. It's just a live worksheet that I need you to practice and enjoy. Have fun. Rats. What the word ramp mean? Hmm, let's see. If the road is not straight, is leaning like this, we call it a ramp. Oh, this is a ramp? Yes. No matter how high, how low, we call it a ramp. So, this guy is on a wheelchair and it's very slim ramp. It's not so high, it's not so low. So, how far will he go? Will he roll away really fast to very far distance or just a short distance? Hmm. For not so high ramp, he will not go far. The slide, it's really high and the ramp is really steep like this. So, if anyone slide over this, like a ball for example, it will roll away for a very far distance. What about this one? The game itself, you're supposed to go sky high. Okay, using your skateboard or your, what do you call this? Like the patinage and the, your shoe with the rolls. Okay, we roll away up and all the way down rolling and you go away really high because the ramp is really steep what about this one it looks like a small bridge right i'm going just to cross if i'm wearing something in my feet or like a skateboard or even a bike or a wheelchair i will not go so far if i push myself or if i use my bike i will not go so far because it's not so high it's not a high ramp Another QR code that we need to scan and we are going to practice some more. Practice, practice, practice. Okay, we have this to record our observation. It's like an experiment, okay? And we are going to have some things that we are going to practice on. I have like a, a crayon, a color, a pencil, a block of wood, something like that. And we are going to notice what are we going to do. And I'm going to record my observation if it's going to roll or slide. Remember? Rolling for something that has curves and sliding if it has a flat surface. So, checking one by one. I have this pencil, for example. It will roll. Why? Because it has a curved surface. And this pencil, another shape, it has a curve and it's going to roll. What about this block? It's a wooden block. Does it have curves? I don't think so. It has all flat surfaces. So, can it roll? If I push it, will it roll? Absolutely not. It's going to slide. Why? Because it has flat surface. What about this color? Curvy, like the pencil and the other crayons. So, it's going to roll. So, I'm marking the box for rolling. So, it will roll. And the uh, Paper pen? Hmm, let's see. It has a curve at the, at the top and at the bottom. But if you put it on the table and push it, what's going to happen, do you think? Will it roll or slide? It's flat, so it's going to slide. It's going to slide. The ball, yes, the magical ball. This one absolutely rolling, of course. The best thing that it, it does, this ball, it rolls all over the place. Okay, this is what we call ramps, and I have two sizes. One is really high and the other is not so high, a little bit low, okay? So, which ramp makes objects roll for a longer distance, do you think? Compare the two ramps together and think. Which one of these makes things roll for a very far distance? The low one or the high one? Yes, the high ramp, of course. It makes things roll really for a far distance. 
very far distance. Now I have three things. I have a can, a bowl, and a cube or a box. I'm going to circle the objects that you think it will roll best on a ramp. Roll best on a ramp. Remember the ramp that I showed you before? The high one? Okay, think about that. I have a can. Can I roll it? Yes, it can. And also it can slide. It can do both. And why? Tell me why. Because it has curves and it has two flat surfaces, so it can do both. Okay, what about the bowl? The best rolling thing ever. So, and I have the box or the cube. It will slide only. It doesn't have any curves. So, the best item, the best object that will roll for a very far distance from a ramp is the bowl. Ta-da! There you go. Now I need to practice and I will record my observation. It's like an experiment. Okay. In your group, you have like what? One, two students, and the other group has three or four. The number of the group have everyone will have a book on the table. Okay? And you are going to notice how many books and record the number. If there are three, you're gonna write three books, two, you're gonna write two, and so on. First, I'm going to start with two piles of books and a ramp to see what's going to happen with what? With the books. I'm going to put them on top of each other, then I'm going to push them from a ramp. See what's going to happen. If I have a lot of books, they are heavy, so they are going to slide on the ramp. Is it going to go fast or just for a short distance? I think a short distance because they are heavy. Okay. What if I chose two books only and I put them on the ramp and I push them to slide? They are light, so I think that they will go for a further distance. They will go far from the ramp. But at the end, I'm going to test, leave the four books and the two books. Choose just one book and push it on the ramp and see what happens. Is it going to go far? We have this video to watch. At first, you need to scan this QR code and watch it. Your project for today is to collect some pictures from items that have different materials and paste them inside your sketch. And I need you to record if they can slide or roll. What did we learn today? We learned about different materials and the ramp, pull, and push, again, one more time, pull is something towards you, pulling something towards you, push, you push it away from you, okay? And we have the roll and the slide, and what else? That's it. <laughs> We're done for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.